So how might the Supreme Court's apparent willingness to overturn Roe v. Wade affect us here at home? 17's Robert Price sought some answers and he files this report. You've heard the debate over abortion itself with euphemisms like pro-life and pro-choice standing in for the termination of a pregnancy. But the debate today is not so much about abortion as it is about the leak of a Supreme Court draft decision, the ethics and the possible impact of that leak. Who benefits from the leak of the draft ruling overturning Roe v. Wade? And how do we judge the breach from an ethical standpoint? First, who gains politically from Monday's report from Politico that the nation's highest court is poised to strike down the landmark 1973 decision and hand the abortion issue to individual states? Theoretically, says Bakersfield attorney David Torres, a local Democratic Party activist, both parties, Democrats and Republicans alike, will be energized and motivated to participate in the upcoming midterms, where Republicans are, by most accounts, likely to reclaim the majority in Congress. And it's going to mobilize Democrats to go out and vote, including women who may not be Democrats. But interestingly, I was also thinking the, the Republicans can also probably benefit. Ultimately, I think that it's going to rile up voters on both sides. Tiffany Santasolis, a philosophy professor and ethicist at CSU Bakersfield, looked at the leak from a different perspective. Is the unauthorized release of classified or privileged government documents ever justified? Might it be justified in this case? I think it's hard to say whether the method is ethical or not. We usually judge after the fact when we look at the consequences. What really concerns me more is the way in which this leak has brought to light your fundamental rights or your, your liberties are at the whim of a very secretive, unelected body. Leak or no leak, it was business as usual at the Bakersfield Office of Planned Parenthood Mar Monte, the Women's Health Services nonprofit. The local director declined comment, but the national office said Planned Parenthood was already training clinicians to help accommodate those who come to California from other states where abortions have been banned or severely restricted. One thing is clear, both parties will use this draft ruling to point fingers and raise money. Already this morning, from the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, Republican David Valadeo is quote, complicit in the crusade to end access to legal abortion. How will this leak affect the 2022 midterms? We'll see in the next few hours, days, and weeks. At Planned Parenthood in Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.